Seth Andrews banned from Facebook. Seth Andrews, the creator and host of the Thinking Atheist podcast and online community, has been falsely accused by Facebook, aka Meta, of misinformation and hate speech. He has been critiquing problematic posts by religious fundamentalists and people pushing anti-scientific claims. Initially, his account was banned for a post that satirized um, misinformation about the disease going around. Uh, and also correctly pointing out that humans are animals, which Facebook interpreted as dehumanizing and therefore hate speech. Recently, he shared a post from the friendly atheist, Hemet Mehta, that condemned a Texas pastor who held to biblical law and claimed that um, homosexuals deserve to be, um, uh, I'm going to have to phrase this delicately for you to put to death. Um, that wasn't Facebook. delicate at all. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> how is that delicate? YouTube, that is not our opinion. Please do not, guys. We are sensitive about this because we have gotten strikes for things that are so bizarre. Like we, but but Seth Andrews is, is experiencing it on Facebook. We experienced that on Facebook and YouTube. Like we were on YouTube, we were talking against conspiracy, like the disease conspiracy theories, and we got a strike because they thought like we were saying those things, right? Okay, this is insane. But yeah, this is why, but so YouTube, we're not promoting the, the seizing of existence of anybody. If this goes through manual review, please YouTube gods, do not strike us down. But yeah, continue Susanna. Okay, so Facebook decided to ban his account for 30 days for hate speech, despite it being a clear instance of Seth opposing bigotry. At first, Facebook decided to lift the ban after Seth appealed the decision, but within a few days, his account was restricted and banned again for the same post. Just incredible, incredible. It's so, it's so stupid, it's insane. But guys this is what we can do this is what we can do we can help so you can help seth andrews get his influential page back by going to social media and making a respectful post drawing attention to the issue and tagging uh facebook's parent company meta to help draw attention to it by the way a lot of people don't understand what's happening here people think like i don't know like even like, I don't know, people keep saying things as if there's an agenda behind what Facebook and YouTube is doing, and they have a certain ideology, okay? Like, and people keep trying to guess what's like, oh, Mark Zuckerberg thinks like this, or I don't know, what was the previous CEO of Twitter, what's his name, or whoever is in charge, right? Jack like, Dorsey. oh, YouTube's, Jack Dorsey's ideology is like this, so this is why it's happening. Or like, oh, the new CEO of youtube is uh, like facebook he's indian so this is therefore this these is the guys first these the head of these companies are not um in charge of the admining and this is none of these bands really represents uh, much of their philosophy as you think like they are uh, these organizations are mostly philosophically neutral okay um and a lot of these ridiculous bands are just due to uh, algorithms not being as good as humans in reviewing things. And even the humans that eventually review them, they're quit making, they're probably making like five second decisions. Like it's probably like some underpaid um, staff somewhere offshore that hasn't been, that hasn't gone through enough training. I mean, there's a, the volume at which these reports are coming at Facebook and YouTube and Twitter is so high and they are going to try to cut costs as much as possible. Right? So there's no consistency. Uh, I mean, there's very little consistency at what these ridiculous strikes or bans are going to be. Right? So this is like, I see so many people in our own community coming up with like, Oh, Facebook doesn't want you to criticize Islam. No, like what? Like no, Facebook, like Facebook is defending, like as if like Facebook or YouTube, like they have this agenda to, I don't know, defend like Mohammed bin Salman or like Islam or like, I don't know, they're part of like some people are like, oh, they're part of like Zionists or like, oh, this, you know, they try to connect the dot like, oh, this board is like, is 
just recently come here. Like even like Kyle Kolinsky from Secular Talk, right? Like he, some of his podcasts with Joe Rogan was removed, right? And his conspiracy theory was that um, it was the Muhammad Saudis. Bin, it was the Saudis because recently something happened with offices of Twitter. No, I don't know something. I don't know what he said. Like something between YouTube and Saudi just recently happened, and at the same time, his episodes on Joe Rogan that he criticized Saudi Arabia was removed. Like he, like people think the level of involvement that they think people have when it comes to like removing and like nobody has that time. Nobody has the resources to go through all of these content and monitor them the way people conspiracy theories theorists think. So this is why um, people don't help us. Okay. This is why people don't help self and self Andrews, right? Because they don't understand that what's happening is that there's very little human involvement, right? And because they think this is the agenda of Facebook or YouTube and Twitter, they think like they don't like the tweet, for example, that Seth Andrews is asking us to make, which I already made, by the way, on Atheist Republic. Me um, too. Yeah, so both of us did. Um, so people people don't help because they think like, well, if that's already their agenda, they're going to ignore all of this. What's even the point, right? And they give us some mm. stupid recommendation of like, oh, just give up on Twitter or just like get off Facebook or just like stop using YouTube. You guys are insane. This is where everybody is. You cannot you cannot survive as a as an organization. Um, you cannot like grow. There's no other place. Beth Andrews These are is deep... literally a media figure. You have to yeah. go where the media is. Yeah, and they like they suggest to us to go on this platform. Nobody's there. Nobody, you're you're not going to be able to grow as an organization on those platforms. And bec and when when you understand that the problem is that there's very little human involvement, then you realize that these tweets or I don't know, these petitions, they help because if they get enough attention, all the, all, all, what happens is that eventually a human will come spend enough time on it. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't saying that I'm not suggesting that the offshore people are not human. Okay. I'm just saying that they're overwhelmed and they're not well trained well enough. Okay. I'm just saying, I said more human involvement. Okay. I said, Oh my God. YouTube, I'm I'm so I'm so paranoid about what YouTube. Cut yourself there. Yeah, Quick I need save. to be careful. Like people, Jesus Christ. All right, what I'm saying is that if you push for these, there will be somebody that will actually spend more time looking at this, and they are so obviously wrong for wrong strikes. Like we have had experience. Like we, uh, me and Susanna are completely banned on Twitter for things that are so obviously not against Twitter's community guidelines. Like any, if there was any human that was actually spending some time looking at what why me and Susanna have been banned our accounts will be back like we already have like so right now we have some outstanding stri strikes on our Facebook account none of them except one to be honest um which was a copyright issue but m most the mass majority of them have are not against any of uh, Facebook's community guidelines right our YouTube strikes all of our YouTube strikes are, are so obviously not you know, some of our YouTube strikes that were supposed to be hate speech, hate speech was us defending minority groups. It's it's, it's the opposite. That's exactly of what, they're accusing what happened of. to Seth Andrews. He was saying, "Hey, look yeah. at this clear sign of bigotry. I'm opposing this. I'm highlighting this so that we can call attention to it, expose it, and fight it." They would punish him for it because you because the algorithm thinks that you're when you highlight some bigotry. The algorithm is not smart enough to realize that you're not saying it. The algorithm thinks that, oh, you're repeating these words that apparently we have been, the algorithm has been trained to see as hateful, right? And maybe if, fair, even, if a, even if a human is involved, they're going to like maybe listen to five seconds and you're going to see like, oh my God, you said this. They're not going to listen to like 20 minutes of it to, to, to get the context of what you're saying. But go on, Susanna. Well, I want to jump off of what you were saying about why these things happen. So to be clear, Seth is very forthcoming and saying, I don't think this is yeah. some conspiracy. This is I like know, know. my two main um, uh, beliefs behind what hypotheses about why this happened is one, either there were, you know, um, religious people who were targeting me with false reporting, or it was a problem with the algorithm. 
it's it's yeah. uh, especially the issue of him getting banned for the quote unquote hate speech and then them reviewing it and then getting banned again for the same thing is clearly showing that this is an algorithm is the issue because yeah. the algorithm picked it up again without realizing it had already previously been flagged and appealed so yeah and, and you know that's a very that's very i mean i mean obviously stuff is smart so he knows that but it's also very honest because it's more it would be more um you would be able to get more support yeah. if you say like oh you know this is me i'm being suppressed right like it's less sexy to for you to be a victim of algorithms being done dumb you know it would be more interesting if like no like there's some um, there's this comp like i'm being silenced by the powers that be you know what i mean that would mobilize more people but you know you, you're just being honest with people about what's actually happening right um you were saying we're being naive okay so you were saying you're 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 a bit naive on facebook a lot of jew haters get away when uh, complain about it. um you know there's so okay so there's two things here okay you will so yes we understand that there are certain things that are more accepted but this is not because facebook is setting the agenda it's because everybody is working within an environment where there are th certain things that are the entire you know the entire western community is more sensitive about than others right and they're working within that worldview and that framework but it's also a function of how many people report these things okay so the number of you know and how consistent they are with what they're reporting on right so for example, when me and Susanna, we, when we got our uh, Twitter accounts removed is because the, the people who know how to take advantage of Twitter, it's not like Twitter is against us. It's the people who are reporting our Twitter accounts. They're very, they're very aware of how exactly to manipulate Twitter's algorithm. They have instructions. They tell them to, they, they, they you know, we have, we have screenshots of people's instructions that like you go to Facebook, you click in here, you report this and you make sure you report it for this, right? Because they know once they overwhelm the algorithm with certain numbers of reports, you don't see that level of commitment from the other side, right? So it's also a function of that. It's not like, it's like you're like, you will, you're, you, are you saying like, you're kind of suggesting what you're, you're the one who's being naive. Are you like suggesting that there's a conspiracy on Facebook that they're like, Oh yeah, let's not be, let's allow jew hatred on facebook like obviously it's within facebook interest to be as consistent as they can because they want to and they don't want to allow jew hatred on facebook do you think facebook has this agenda of allowing jew hatred on facebook like obviously that's not what they're, what's it, that's not in their best interest like what what is, yeah anyways go on please like this video because armin just said some big words yes. uh oh several times repeatedly <laughs> youtube doesn't like we are so sensitive about the youtube algorithm in fact that we're not even going to play the video that seth made yes. to address this issue himself because he talks specifically about what these claims of misinformation are and we have almost gotten our cancel our channel nuked because exactly the same thing false claims of promoting misinformation so um yeah what i wait. really i really yeah no I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna mention like i really want to play what seth is saying okay but what seth is saying we got we already got to strike for what seth is saying here so i can't i can't even play i don't want to even play for that because we we don't want to take the risk so please make sure you go actually go watch his video but go on susanna Oh, so I just wanted to highlight once again what people can do to help out. Um, if you go to uh, Seth Andrews or the Thinking Atheist YouTube channel and just find the video banned on Facebook, or I copied and pasted it into the live chat, um, you can go on Facebook or Twitter and post, uh, copy and paste the following. Say the quote, hashtag Facebook account, facebook.com forward slash seth.andrews.31 was incorrectly flagged and banned for hate speech. The post was actually exposing and condemning the hate speech of a Texas pastor. I'm asking at Meta to review and reverse this inappropriate ban. So I would really love it if we could get the people together at the Atheist Republic community to help boost this, help um, 
pull more attention to this issue and help Seth get access to his account back. Um, I think it's really important that atheist organizations or atheist figures help e us each other out when we are getting targeted by the or um, platforms are mishandling our cases in these ways because especially our criticism of religion itself or blasphemy against religion itself is oftentimes incorrectly identified as hate speech when it is not. We are oftentimes get the short stick of a lot of these policies because of, you know, this like um, religious standard in society that anything contrary to it is hateful, right? Um, and so we really need to band together and say, no, this isn't hateful, especially in this case where you're like, blatantly condemning homophobia um uh that's not even an instance of you know <laughs> like being really edgy about religion um imagine yes, what this please go help this is, imagine the disservice to all these minority groups that require protection and right. you can't help you can't help provide them protection because if you want to condemn people attacking them then these platforms think you're one of the people who are attacking them so like you just like avoid taking a risk and just don't talk about it. And so, this is why Armin and I YouTube don't is highlight complicit. Yeah. Yeah, this on. is why we don't highlight any of the threats that we face on any social media. Yeah. Because the, hey, oh my social platforms have falsely identified you highlighting threats that you get as incitements to violence, where you're like, I'm yeah, showing guys. other people what I go through. Damn. So, guys, we get death threats and Susanna get death threats plus rape threats. A lot of, you know, very disgusting violent messages. And we want to, like, we don't, like, there are many times we are like, we need to show these to people, right? And, like, but, but look at the message. It's like, where are we going to post this? We can't post this anywhere because we're going to get, like, nuked off of the platform if, I sh if we show these to people, right? So, you know, we can't even highlight the, what is coming at us because YouTube is, like, going to say, like, oh, why you, YouTube or Facebook or Twitter is going to be like, oh, why are you posting this? This is violent. Um, so yeah, we can't even show to the world what's coming at us. Um, there's a couple of comments that you start. You want to highlight them? Um, did I? Oh. Yeah. Wait, never mind. Oh, wait. Um, I don't know how to say this, so I'll call you Shik. Um, They're highlighting on Twitch. Go follow us on Twitch. That the same thing happened to Harald Khan. Remember, he was highlighting, he was quoting scripture. He was quoting so 434 mm. about the mandate to hit your wife and because he was quoting scripture to show the dangers of it they said he was promoting violence against women and had to nuke his whole channel because of it and he appealed and appealed and nothing went through it's insane um but uh that was the main thing i wanted to highlight and so once again you guys please go tag meta on uh, Facebook or Twitter. And when you do make a post about this, please be respectful. Okay. Um, we don't want any derision and that to impact, you know, what, what Seth is going through. So. Oh, but there was another star comment here. This one. Oh, this was just funny. Forever Stormy is saying no Hindu foot insanity this week. God has finally blessed India. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.